Welcome back, watch fans. Time for another watch review. This one is massive. Let's open this big dumb one. <laughs> Looks like it's already been partially. Somebody already opened it a little bit. Um, we'll see. I'm not sure what this is. Do not be shocked if it's another. Um, if it's a <laughs> either a Venger or an Ingersoll. Oh. I think this means it's an Ingersoll. All right, come on, hopefully be a bronze one. All right, let's see, very excited. Again, love this packaging, this packaging is spectacular. The Ingersoll True Original. I now have about 15 of these boxes. <laughs> oh man it's an automatic oh oh so nice oh look at that oh this is great oh even the back oh i love this what is it this is oh this is another scoville very nice oh, look at that this is the scoville all right you guys know the drill. Of course, I love that video. I put it on all my Ingersoll videos. Uh, it just kind of gets me in the mood for doing watch reviews. I like the song, it's got a catchy beat. Um, all right, well, let's, before I get into the watch, silica gel, very exciting. Every watch comes with one. Oh, this big manual cream in there. It's the manual for everything, every version of the Ingersoll watch from 2014 to now this is their current box this is their current this is how they ship things lifetime warranty and that's not a joke all watches as of 2016 now have full lifetime warranties i have a couple of these that don't say that i think it says something like five year warranty that's some some one of the earlier quartz watches they really had a big push in 
in 2014 for new quartz is, uh, I guess, as you saw that in the video. Um, also comes with this really nice plate, solid pewter, uh, authenticity card. We certify the authenticity of this item and confirm that it conforms to the existing quality standards of Ingersoll. Excellent box, really cool. This is real wood, not fake. They really spare no expense for them. Put this in normally, like I say, uh, normally I don't care about packaging, but uh, I mean, how can you go wrong with this? This is, this is excellent packaging. But that's not why you're here. You're here for this magnificent watch. I am really happy about this watch. Now, I have another Scoville. Uh, it's Scoville, not Scoville. There's no E on the end, so I'm not sure where that name comes from, quite honestly. But I am, I am absolutely a fan of this watch. I have a black one that is more or less an homage to uh, the Omega Speedmaster. Now, what makes this watch uniquely interesting is, I believe it's a limited edition, but it's made of <clears throat> it's made of bronze. Very, very cool. It is a really nice bronze case. Uh, that's kind of the fashion now. It's, it's sort of a new thing that a lot of people are doing. Um, a lot of bronze watches. And what's also cool is that it has a special leather strap, which my other Scoville came with. However, I ended up replacing it with a um, with a nylon strap, which I, I just personally preferred. But um, it's Horween leather. Now, this company has been around for, I think, the oldest... The, the single longest producer of fine leathers in the United States uh, still around. They've been around for over 100 years. Uh, and so they made these especially for, for Ingersoll. It, it really adds to it. This is the uh, um, this is Ingersoll's Radiolite Scoville. They call it the Scoville, but look, it's got the, it's got the Radiolite logo on there. And they do that on purpose. It's an automatic. You can see it's already started ticking. Uh, this is a gorgeous watch. Um, has an automatic movement. Uh, before I get into any of the specifics about the watch, let's go ahead and uh, watch a video on this movement. The Ingersoll Scoville is powered by the Ingersoll IN619, a 21 joule hand wound automatic hacking movement. The movement beats at 21,600 beats per hour and features a quick set date at the three o'clock position with a Novodiac shock absorber for the balance. It is a Miyota style simplified construction with Seiko style auto winding functionality. This movement is a special in-house modified version built from Seagull TY2806 movement parts. Ingersoll typically purchases the parts from Seagull for these movements and then assembles them with specific non-standard components. This includes features such as blued screws, specialty finished plates, and a custom name etched weight. The TY2806 automatic movement itself is based on the Japanese Miyota 8215 movement using the winding mechanism similar to Seiko's auto winding magic lever system. This provides modern yet simple and efficient full-sized wrist watch caliber. Ingersoll further improves on this with a cost-effective, high-quality design with their IN619 automatic movement. All right, so now you know a little bit more about the movement. Uh, I mean, what else can I say about it? It is a rock-solid 21 joule movement. Uh, you're not going to have any problems with that movement. It's excellent. Um, I guess we'll just get right into it. Uh, I've already talked about the leather strap. This is made by the Horween Company. Spectacular. Uh, spe you know, I'm just, just absolutely excellent. This one's actually far more supple than the one that I had on my other Scoville. Uh, the Scoville watches come with the Horween leather strap. Uh, the other one that I ended up having was just really hard. I ended up replacing it with a, uh, a nylon strap. Of course, it was case color, but I really liked it. Um, we'll get right into the crystal. It is a domed crystal, as you can see. It's uh, it's actually really good. It is a it is a solid hardened mineral crystal with three layer sapphire coating. Um, 
it's it's excellent and of course that helps uh you know this this can really take a beating the the diver bezel is spectacular 90 clicks and it is very smooth it turns very easily just absolutely spectacular i, I can't say enough about it it is such a it, it's got such good feel to it um and on that right for it being a diving watch uh this is a 10 meter water resistance so 10 atms i'm sorry 100 meters it's 10 atm 10 bar absolutely spectacular uh good seal on the back there's also a seal in the back of the crown and on the shaft as well and i hadn't mentioned it but this is in fact actually a screw down crown which is spectacular uh, and it really helps seal it well you can manually wind uh, but look also when you remove it it has a hacking feature so you can disable it uh, but you can also wind like this as i'm doing now uh, and of course screw it down and set the time that way either uh, there's nothing there's nothing too much more to talk about setting on the movement it's it just it's a good solid three hand with date um, the case is really what makes this watch it is a bronze case and bronze bezel and bronze uh, crown it is 100 percent bronze you can see too it'll say here bronze bronze case uh, just absolutely spectacular that is what makes this watch um, I believe the, if I'm not mistaken, the MSRP for this watch was about $595, which is which is quite high. Um, it's actually down from, I had seen it earlier at one point at $795. It's not what I paid. Um, I paid far less than that, but I really had to negotiate for this one. Uh, even the buckle is actually bronze as well, which is spectacular. Uh, I mean, gosh, I just can't say enough about this. Um, has exhibition window, of course, because because you know, of course, you want to see the you want to see the movement in action. Um, that's a lot of fun when you're sitting in meetings. Um, all right, let's get into uh, some of the measurements. I believe it's a 42 millimeter case, but let me just double check. 43.5 millimeters. It gets a little bit more because of the bezel. The lug width is 24, and the case depth is. We'll say 15. It says 14.9, we'll say 15. It's pretty good. All right, let's check out the loom. That is excellent. That is absolutely spectacular. Man, gosh, I, I absolutely love that. It's just a, a few more things before I finish out this video. The... Um, Radio Light is a classic vintage make by uh, Ingersoll. Now this watch is called it is called the Scoville, but uh, the Radio Light was their marketing. It was one of their brands from back in the day. Uh, it either came as a, a wrist watch or as a uh, pocket watch. Uh, it was it was one of their more famous famous brands. I'll put a couple pictures up up here just so you can see it. But um, yeah, this. This brand has got a long history, and I'm really glad that they brought back this name. It's spectacular. I mean, I love everything about this watch. This is, uh, along with some of the other watches I have, this is going to be one that I keep forever. I mean, I absolutely love this. And, and I even ordered another radio light, too, which is very similar. Um, a little bit more old-fashioned looking, but I, I highly recommend it. If you're looking for a good, solid bronze watch, and you want something that's reliable, that you can... Uh, it's classy looking and you can pretty much wear anytime you want with almost any outfit. I, I highly recommend this. It's such a great watch. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a like if you did. Uh, if you hated it, please also leave a like. Um, tell your friends. Have them leave likes. And please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out. The more, subscribed, the more subscribers I get, the more likely I am to uh, create more videos uh, because it makes it worthwhile. I do not monetize, so um, I'm doing this for, for fun. Thank you very much.